All right, I just want to show you how to improve your animation. Um, I'm going to show you an example of a character throwing a ball, and um, I'm going to just use the J and K keys. This is actually a really good way to get better at your animation, and also always turn your onion skin on. This is going to help you improve your animation a lot. So I want to show you some things about this animation that are, okay, I'm going to hit play just so you can watch it. Okay, so the ball just kind of like levitates across the screen and you really don't see it even getting thrown. Um, and I'm gonna explain why, because in my mind it looked good. Like here's my guy, he's picking the ball up, he throws it, goes across the screen and he's happy with himself, okay? But we're gonna insert some frames to make this better. One, any motion this large, we're, we're animating at 12 frames per second. So an action that takes one second might need to have 12 frames to look natural. So I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna um, duplicate this frame. So there's two of it now. And I'm gonna take the arm and I'm gonna use the selection tool, which is already selected. And I'm gonna highlight the arm and the ball and I'm gonna tilt them up. And then I'm gonna make sure to put the arm back right there so it's connected. And in fact, I'm gonna tilt it down a little bit more because the first move, there's this concept called slow in, slow out. It should be slow. And if it's slow, it's closer. Okay, and the sound you hear in the background is my Zoom class slowly filling up with students. So I'm gonna go ahead and I don't need to hit duplicate now, but I can. In fact, I might hit duplicate because I'm gonna try to get it so that it's closer to that spot. So I'm gonna grab the arm again. By a pro tip, you can group the arm and the ball so that you're moving one object. I'm gonna turn it, but then I'm also gonna reconnect the arm right there. And see how I moved it a little bit further? The first one was more overlapped and this one isn't as much because it's picking up speed. So I'm gonna duplicate it, okay? And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do it a little bit more. See, that's gonna look better when it moves up to that hand position. And then um, I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna do one more that's like almost there. Uh, that was maybe too much. Yeah, let's do, let's do, I'm gonna rotate a little bit more. So it's almost like right where it's ending at, okay? And I'm gonna hit play and let's just watch. See, the throw looks already looks better than what we had. Like you can see what's happening. Okay, then um, and I'm, I'm gonna have put a pause in. I'm gonna have his hand at the top of his throw before he starts going down. And I'm gonna duplicate that. In fact, I'm just gonna one, you can actually duplicate just by changing the number there. So I'm gonna hit play. See, it paused for four frames and then he threw. So I like that too. I might bring it back even further and hold it and then throw it like someone throwing a baseball. But now the throw itself was really bad. I'm using J and K on my keyboard to move forward and backwards and look at this. And I can see, man, there's just no frames in between. So I need to duplicate this frame right here where he has the ball, duplicate, and now um, I'm gonna ungroup them, and I'm even gonna I'm gonna um, I'm gonna move his arm down a little bit more. Oh, I just moved his head. I'm gonna try to just select those two. You have to kind of move out to the side to select things. I'm gonna straighten his arm out a little bit more first before the ball takes off. So I'm gonna use that one. I'm gonna duplicate it again. This time I'm gonna have his arm go down a little bit more but the ball is gonna leave. Just like you, someone throwing a baseball, like a pitcher, um, you throw your arm kind of through where the ball's gonna go, and then I'm gonna have the ball move forward. And see, I'm gonna overlap it, duplicate. Now, it ends up over here, so I'm gonna move it a little bit further, still overlapped, duplicate. Still overlapped. Getting a little further. That's gonna look so much better. You can actually see the ball being thrown. That's a one. That's how you can improve using J and K and using slow in and slow out and making sure that you have some things that are close together. I hope this is helpful in improving your animation. Um, and, and this could go for any action that you have. Having some stops or pauses by putting more frames and then filling in between a little bit. They do not need to be perfectly even in between, but they do need to be overlapped when they start the action and then spread out. All right, I'm gonna stop right there.